Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here, and uh, folks, I've got something different today. You know, I've always say in my videos, we'll trade for anything. We'll trade for stuff that other dealers won't touch. This guy's been looking to trade this van for over six months at every RV dealer in the South, and nobody wanted it, but we traded for it. And the reason why we traded for it, folks, is, well, we like the more different it is, the more we like it and the more we like to sell it. This is a 1998 E250 Ford van. It's got the 6.8 liter Triton V10, only 83,000 miles. It's got the built-in Honda 6,000 watt RV generator. It's got an RV roof air in it that blows icicles. This is a former news broadcasting van. These things are $150,000 new, equipped like this one. I know this is a 1998 model. I know the equipment's maybe a little bit outdated, but you've got a lot of potential right here. Uh, you know, local stations can use this. I mean, you can buy this one a whole lot less money than, than you can get one equipped. Tires look good. It's got the 6,000 watt Honda generator. Runs great. I've got it running right now. Motor runs good, it drives out great. It's only got 83,000 miles. It's got about a 20 to 25 foot mast that completely raises up. I had it up earlier, but it's getting a little windy. I really didn't want to leave it up all day. And it's got a big rack on top. Now folks, even if you don't need the equipment in this van, a lot of potential. I mean, this would make a heck of a work van. It would make a heck of a camper van. It wouldn't take much at all to convert it. You could sell the, the mast and the electronics out of here and probably pay for most of the van just by selling the electronics. And have a nice camper van with generator and roof air already installed. It's got a built-in air compressor, which I believe is what powers the mast. It works great. The generator runs great, the tires look good, the dash air is ice cold. I mean, you can drive this van anywhere. You got that big metal rack. I mean, even if you took all this stuff off, this would make a heck of a van for sporting events, NASCAR, things like that, with that overhead roof. Cab, you've got power windows and locks, tilt, cruise, ice cold dash air that'll blow icicles you've got that roof air in the back uh, the seats look great the radio works it's got a, a well it's a garmin some kind of garmin gps built into it and it's got a lot of electronics in here folks I, I don't know what a lot of this stuff does but if anybody out there does and they see this video please email me i like to know everything i can about what i'm selling your controls for your master right here. I'm not going to raise it up because it takes it a few minutes to raise all the way up, but it does come up, as you can see, a little bit at a time. And of course, that dish on top folds down. You're 11 foot, one inches tall when this is all folded down properly. We're going to go ahead and step inside. It's got a little table that folds up right here, right here in the door. All these electronics are included, folks. Like I said, that dash air is ice cold. It's got fluorescent lighting, telephones. I'm not going to pretend like I know what all this stuff is. I'll point out what I've researched. Uh, of course, you've got a spotlight, control boards over here. It's got a carpeted floor, little work area, monitors. It's Sony equipment, uh, digital processing systems, cam Camplex. Like I said, folks, I don't, if you are into this kind of thing or, or in this kind of industry, you probably know more about this equipment than I could ever tell you. So I'm just going to show you what's in it. And you can, like I said, kind of tell me what you think it, what you think it is. Uh, storage compartment, work table, tell you that air in this little bit of a of a van will run you out 
I've said Sony video cassette players. I've got everything powered up, or at least I think I do. Uh, power boards right here. You can crank the generator from right here as well. Handheld spotlight, telephone, street phone, and well, I don't know what this is. Curb phone, whatever that is. Uh, spotlight. That's your, I, I assume that's your spotlight control panel. Video tech, audio equipment. Like I said, folks, I really can only hope that you know what this stuff is. I've looked some of the stuff up online on eBay and stuff like that, and there's several hundred dollars worth of equipment in here based on what people are asking for them on eBay, and that's not counting the mast, which I'm sure is a pretty expensive uh, item. But like I said, you could take all this out. It would make a heck of a work van, make a heck of a camper van. You've already got generator, air compressor, and roof air installed. So it wouldn't take much to convert this van to whatever need you see fit. Here in the back, it opens up. It's got a good heavy duty ladder to the roof. So there's your generator box. There's your mast. Like I said, I'm not really familiar what it is. Here's some kind of quick set device. I'm not really sure, but they left it in here, so I'm definitely including it with it. Insulated walls, that's a big plus. Uh, everything here is just like it's supposed to be. It doesn't have a trailer hitch, so hasn't really been towing anything does it look like it's ever had a trailer ball on it i'm gonna step up here and try to it's got the diamond plate on the roof all your mass systems like i said that works great it just takes a few minutes make a heck of an observation deck up here folks even if you took all this down Eighty-three thousand miles you know, you could convert this van, spend a couple of thousand dollars on it, have a nice camper van, especially if you can do the work yourself. And, uh, you know, if this was a camper van, it would be about $20,000. You can buy this van for $10,900. You can probably get, I'd say you probably get a few thousand dollars for everything that's in this van if you just wanted to sell the equipment. I mean, it would pay for converting it to a work van or a camper van and then some great opportunity for a do-it-yourselfer or if you're in the need for a broadcasting van ten thousand nine hundred dollars only eighty three thousand miles six thousand watt honda generator uh dometic roof air air compressor everything works best that i can tell and it's going to sell quick folks because somebody's going to buy this van make it into a camper van or a work van if you're interested, call us at 706-965-7929 or 423-605-6747. Visit our website, parkwayrvcenter.com. Uh, we've got anywhere from 120 to 150 used RVs. And like I said, folks, we will trade for anything. When other dealers say no, we say yes. And you can also look on our website at some other things we've traded for as well. We're one of the oldest used RV dealers in the United States. 47 years, family owned and operated since 1968. That's almost half a century in business. If that's not a true testament to what kind of business we run, I don't know what is. So thank you for watching my video, folks. Um, if you have any questions, comments, if you've got any information about the equipment in the van, I would love to hear from you, especially the electronics, because I'm not no expert on it by no means. And also, folks, uh, we'll show you the generator and the roof air works. As far as this equipment, folks, you're buying it as is. I don't know what works and what doesn't. Everything's lit up, appears to be working, but like I said, I have no idea how to operate this stuff, so no way of checking it. Uh, but we'll show you the dash air works, the roof air works, generator runs. Other than that, folks, I, I don't know if, like I said, this is out of my expertise. But um, I still think there's a lot of value in these electronics. Thank you for watching my video, folks. 
Hope to see you soon in Ringgold, Georgia.